Okay, Kansian, so let's begin your oracle reading first. So think of a question. This may apply or not apply to you because these are divine messages. So maybe there's only one person who deserves to hear the message right now. Maybe there's a hundred, maybe there's five. Okay, but hopefully this is the message for you. So think, meditate, contemplate. And this is your answer to your question for the concern. And this is no nothing, no placements in astrology, meaning these are not planet based. If you feel like you're a concern, you're a concern. Whatever your placement is. Here we go. This is the answer. Say thank you. Oh, look at that. There's flowers. There's a door opening. It's a gift. Um, someone's coming home. Someone's coming towards you. Or you're coming towards someone. It looks like a, a journey. Um, but it's a gift. Because there's flowers involved over here. And I believe in Western, no, no, in Sidereal, um, again, I'm not placing it on the planets, but in Sidereal, it is the cancer season right now, okay, in Sidereal. So you may be receiving gifts, um, you may be happy right now and ecstatic, um, but it's acknowledging things that is coming your way. So these are divine blessings coming in your way. Open the doors and it shall be yours. So it's a wonderful thing. Especially, um, this can be a message also for um, you to the universe. This may be something that you feel closely to connect with your creator. Because it's saying here, say thank you to the graces. Okay? So that's your oracle. Now, let's begin your tarot. Let's begin. Ooh. Spicy noodles. King of Cups. Love. Either you are in love or someone is in love. That's a king of cups. It is a water sign. You are a water sign. So right now, I feel like you're this wonderful person who gives everybody the joy. You're, a sh you're sharing. You're kind-hearted. That's a king of cups. You speak your emotions. It's masculine, so you do take action. With the king of cups, you have a vision of what kind of love works for you, and I feel like you are attracting this. Um, your, your aura is very attractive. You have um, you have this. Um, oh, here go this. Uh, you have this special part of you where people are drawn because of how soft spoken you are, how nurturing you are. You're always concerned. You're always trying to. Um, how do you say this? Give benefits to others. Also meaning like benefit of the doubt. You're trusting. That's a king of cups. Which is very, very positive as your first card. You have the strength card and the six of swords. Okay. So this is your card right here. There's a feeling that you have deep within you, but you're you're struggling with it with the strength. Now, um, the strength card, of course, is a card of restraint. You love someone, but you cannot express it with the Six of Swords. So something about you right now, um, either you're shy, you can admit to it, but you're trying to be bold enough to express this. Um, the two of you haven't discussed this. Uh, um, I don't know what kind of dynamics you guys have with the Six of Swords, but normally the Six of Swords is uncertain. If you tell them you have feelings for them, how will they perceive it? If you tell them that you have this King of Cups, you know, like so much love for them... What will happen? Will it shake the connection? Will it change the relationship with the Six of Swords? But what I see here is like you, you have fallen for someone and you don't want to tell them. I don't know why. Okay? Strength card with the Six of Swords, you could be struggling in a long distance relationship because the Six of Swords is the boat. You're trying to get across. You want this to work out, but there are struggles, of course, with the Strength card. The King of Cups is you being optimistic and you are, you know, you're trying to stay positive like this is going to be fine. Which is good. You need that. Okay? The Emperor. The Six of Pentacles. The Ace of Swords. Now, the Emperor shows here uh, masculine energy. You know, this is, this is a boss, supervisor, business owner, works for the government. That's an Emperor. Six of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. Someone is treating you... 
Well, you're the empress over here also with the strength. So you're able to manage this person. So I'm not worried. But they're treating you six of pentacles. You feel like it's not fair. Something about this relationship is not fair. Um, they're trying to be fair with you always with the six of pentacles. And they want to talk to you about ace of swords. They want to have victory with you. So they see you as an ideal person also. Um, can be um, same genitalia, whatever you prefer, because the emperor and the king of cups over here. With the six of pentacles here, um, I feel like this is where you're having issues with is that they talk to other people, they spend time with other people, um, and they're not doing the same with you. Um, if there's a person far from you, they're giving attention to other people and they can take in charge of their life. And this is, again, you're having issues with the strength card. You know, you're trying to battle something within you. Okay, now the Emperor and the Six of Pentacles, um, this person is very stoic. It can be cold at times. And this is where, again, you're having issues. You have issues with this person, I feel. But Ace of Swords, it's like they're trying to clear the issues with you. Mm -hmm. It's good, right? They want to air the issues, you know. Let's see here. You have the world. You get the Three of Wands. You get the Wheel of Fortune. Temperance, Magician, Knight of Swords. Okay. So the way I see this is that you're very optimistic with the world guard. This whole connection means so much to you because the Wheel of Fortune is here. You feel lucky. Um, you know, things has changed in your life. You become abundant ever since you met this person. Three of Wands is the optimistic. The world card is about travel. The world card is also understanding the lesson here. You're waiting for divine timing for this person to be with you, with the Wheel of Fortune, because fate will decide. Temperance, Magician, Knight of Swords. Um, this is about making things work. The two of you are finding the middle ground, Temperance, and you just need to be patient. But they're trying to be patient also. So the two of you are... How to say this? The two of you are on the same page here. I want to be with you and vice versa. Um, magician over here, Six of Pentacles. But they do have other things on their plate. It can be business because a magician and emperor, entrepreneur. Temperance over here is like you don't see them as much. So, or you see them, but you know, it's always as if like the two of you are so busy working. Knight of Swords over here with the Ace of Swords. It feels like sometimes this person can be mean or harsh. And when they talk to you, it's like, okay, they address the truth, you know, straight up front. But then this is the part where you don't want to deal with them because sometimes, you know, it's like they're not warm and fuzzy because they're an emperor. They won't be warm and fuzzy. They're built for success. And this is what this person is. Knight of Swords and Ace of Swords. All right. So I don't sense issue with you here, but let's see then Six of Swords, if you guys are not talking okay, or what is this? subject that you are waiting for because six of swords with the wheel of fortune i'm waiting for an opportunity for you know the time to come in so we can talk all right so let's see mm -hmm. okay and temperance is about being together reconciliation right three of wands is also going on vacation so you may be going away Spending time with them, three of ones, and you're waiting for them. Um, magician over here shows that they're manifesting, but they're manifesting things, but they're also with you, but they're also talking to other people. Let's see if there are other people involved here, because that's a six of pentacles. I don't sense any jealousy on your end. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. You're trying to be more compassionate. It's almost as if like the same as the Leo. You're trying to be more compassionate and understanding with this person. Which, I like that. That's very good. Very, very nice. Now, if this is your uh, vibe, Empress and Emperor, right here. That's a strength, but in Empress standing. Let's see how will this dynamic work. Meaning, will the two of you have a solid, committed relationship? Mm-hmm. All right. So, I feel like this is going to be good. This is going to be fine. I'm not worried. I'm not stressed. But we will see um, how this all pans out. Link down there in the description box below for the extended reading. We'll do the grand reveal and answer more of your questions with the oracle. 
um, I feel like this is something good. We just need to work things out. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Bye.